<clears throat> Hello, it is uh, time to get kicky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast on Mike Sorg at the hotel room at the Double Tree in North Ann Arbor. Uh, and it is the awesome cast, and we are on the road, which means not, not a lot of the bells and whistles, at least for the live version of this. Maybe we'll edit here for everybody later. But I do have with me uh, Dave Potter of the iPhoneography podcast, which I'm sure had a lot to talk about this week. Oh, yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, we did go on about an hour and a half last night. Oh, jeez. And, um, and, and we decided to go to the Pirates game. So we didn't start recording till around 11 o'clock. Wait, wait, that seems highly irresponsible. <laughs> yes, 100%. Yes. No, I wasn't dozing off at 12.15 in the morning during a live broadcast on YouTube. That mm. didn't do that at all. Oh, I'm not familiar with that concept at all. Um, also with us is... Uh, for, uh, no, I have no transition for you. <laughs> no, I don't know. Where am I? I was going to say I fresh from the beach. I was going to say fresh from the beach, but that was like two weeks ago. So Yeah. About uh, to the, to go join the great state of Michigan for Baja. Yes, I see you are you are <laughs> you have your Baja prepared and uh, oh 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 the mistress of mystery packages. Yes, that's why I'm today. That's who you are today. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, yeah, no, a little loose. I'm up here for the once again. Oh, I'm not IndieWrestling.us. What is that? I got to fix that title now. Um, yeah, no, uh, I'm up here for the Auto Drive uh, Challenge um, uh, workshop, their fall kickoff. Um, still doing the workshop records and, and basically the de facto AV for the room to make sure all the microphones work somehow. I don't know how I backward doored into that. Uh, but anyways, uh, for like, I don't know, the eighth freaking time we've done this. Um, so it's kind of, and we're butted right up against Baja for the first time in Michigan, right up the road at Holly, Michigan. So um, Kitty's going to join me here tomorrow tomorrow night for those um uh shenanigans but anyways in the meantime uh like i figured i did not feel like setting up a studio in my hotel room again so we are using the vimeo uh online studio it's probably been a good two years since i've done this so i'm really curious what people think of it of, of how it's going and and how it sounds how it looks it seems it seems a ton smoother on my end at least uh, uh since the last time we did this um, so, and of course, if you're on the audio version, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just in AirPods, you know, and we're just going through this system. So we're, we're not going to have a nicely edited, uh, uh, you know, mix kind of situation. It's going to be whatever this thing spits out at the end, I suppose. But um but no it's pretty i mean everybody else is doing online stuff why not uh so um so let's get i, I don't know about I, I don't know if we want to do a, a, a you know, mostly we want to get to the main event and talk about the apple stuff this week and, and what's going on there and i'm sure dave has a lot of after mulling at you know sleepily mulling over it overnight uh, and everything over a pirates game and everything like that but but i know first of all we do have katie has a package <laughs> katie show us your package I like this one from your back door uh, conversation to <laughs> my mystery package. I have a mystery package. Um, I, don't use, I can tell. Yeah. Go ahead. What am I talking about it, your back it, door? It, and it's, it's a smiley back door mystery package. There you go. It's, oh, now it's frowny. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. Uh, no. Um, so we are getting ready to leave for our SAE Baja in, while well, I am in Michigan. And I don't know what ha where half my stuff has gone, and I have not prepared for the trip. Obviously, I had to buy a new card holder, new cards, uh, because they're somewhere in my house. But this is also something I was—I said it was irresponsible purchases, but this is actually a responsible purchase. Let me see if I can quietly pull it over. It's just gonna rip. Oh, it's been all kinds of crinkly and ASMR so far. Good. <laughs> Let's see. I know what these are. Okay, so we're gonna do which one first. We're going to do, I think it's this one first. Um, this was the hard case for my MacBook. Oh. Um, mm. So this is, we've had these on, oh gosh, I, it's a different brand because, you know, sometimes these things change brands. Mm -hmm. But um, this was the one we've had for, oh, you know, the, the look that we've had where it's like the plastic outer and it comes with the keyboard protector. 
Uh, my keyboard protector has disintegrated. Like, it's sticky, like, breaking down disintegrated. So I had to buy a new one. And uh, the case is great. The outside. Uh, but uh, this is the one. It's, it's black. It's all in one. Comes with the screen protector. I'm, I I want to say currently, I not it's not selling me so much. <laughs> I feel bad. But I was like, that does not feel like the previous one. And then, mm. this is the Unicorn Beetle. I like the name of it. Um, it's also from Amazon. It's a heavier duty case. Ta-da! Um, the corners, I, I, I went for a little bit more expensive than I normally do, which sounds probably terrible. But um, this is... Ta-da, ta-da. There's The corners are much thicker. It's kind of a, a harder plastic as opposed to... Like the whole, see how this is like kind of a little bit lighter? <laughs> ah, mm-hmm. ASMR. And like that's what our previous cases were, like that flimsy plastic. But the edges are just, um, are all reinforced. So I like mm-hmm. that. It's uh, lifted a bit more with the feet. So a little bit more breathability through the vents. And what else? Was, I love this. I, I really like this. Um, and the reviews loved it. And then, and but the thing is, it doesn't. Yeah, there's real sorry. quick. That's a that's still a laptop case, correct? Correct. Sorry. Did okay. I not say that? No, no, just because it, it's folded like that, it it almost looks like an iPad case. Oh it does. It yeah, because this bit. is all yeah. clear mm-hmm. and the edges. Mm-hmm. But I can confirm it goes edge to edge. And um but the thing is is like that does not come with a keyboard cover, so I ordered ghost cover. Um it's a got a little ghosty guy on it. It's adorbs. Uh, but it's that supposed to. Come with a keyboard cover, so I ordered Sorry. ghost cover. No, it's, yeah. like, no, no, it's me. It's me. I don't know how to do it. It's a new laptop. Brand new, spanking laptop. But I did buy a new keyboard cover because that was something I needed. One of the important things on my keyboard. But uh, yeah, so I ordered that to go with it, and I'm very excited about it because I feel like this is better quality than the one I had. I feel like a lot of the stuff has been not like everything, but like these two last two are a better quality than what I used to. And, um, like I said, the key- the keyboard co- cover, like, decomposing um, was my big issue, because if you've ever dealt with something as decomposing like that, it's sticky, and it's stuck to the screen of my laptop, so I had to really work to get the print off. How long have you had that cover? Because I think we have about the same brand, right? Like, that kind of, like, clear plastic, or semi-clear plastic, like, purplish uh, kind of thing with the, 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 the cover. I think it was one of the first purchases I made for this laptop. So however okay. long we've had these, it's been a minute. Like it, overall, I cannot complain about the quality of this particular one I had. It was just the keyboard protector that kind of. I, yeah, I think it was. Uh, so uh, I've been, I'm on my second one and I'll probably do for another one as it is. Uh, it was a, a kind of a related, uh, the reason. So I'm actually coming to you on a MacBook air right now. Um, I, th- I think I've shared with these guys, but for the public, um, yeah, uh, the um when we did the podcast a week ago, uh, the ports, uh, my USB ports and the power, all went. We discovered, so I couldn't. I could like the edit. The, the show was on temp, or the MacBook was on ten percent. I couldn't edit the show. We take it in, and uh, it's actually back in Pittsburgh, but I'm in Michigan, so I'm like, it's not getting back in time. What am I supposed to do? Also, I think I think my I think my room has fleas <laughs> it's concerning um anyways michigan um but uh so so i took it in and i was like do you have loaners because I, I need something right and you're gonna this is gonna be gone like you know it's gonna cross over uh for somebody leaving and uh they're like no but you can purchase one and return it within 14 days no questions asked when when your other laptop comes back i'm like okay so here i am on this um but so, but when I took that case off, um, <laughs> there was a lot of coffee stains on the inside of the case. <laughs> and Missy's like, oh, no, you're going to have problems with, like, like there is going to be liquid or something like that. I'm like, you know what? The beauty of the case is it raises the laptop up off the desk. So if you do have a coffee spill, it's more elevated, right? So I, I think it's – I think it, that's one of the – uh, places where it's actually saved me and if it, there is liquid on the top of the case um that that keyboard cover really saves your ass so like that thing probably saved me from having to pay a couple bucks for whatever this problem was um so they they have not sent me a message that they found water damage in this thing so um you know i'm kind of curious what did 
go in this kind of thing. But yeah, these things, I, I think it, it makes sense. I, I've had a, this naked MacBook Air for like, you know, about a week now, and I'm scaring the hell out of me <laughs> since I had to return it in a week, you know? So, um, but uh, but no, those are worth it. I mean, even those cheaper cases, I think I don't think I spent any more than 20 bucks on one of those sets. I think that's how mine was. Mine wasn't terribly expensive. But, um, you know how sometimes those customer co- there's companies just disappear or I would have reordered mm-hmm. it from them. But like I said, this yeah. is, I'm getting some vibes from this one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So no, that's awesome. Uh, uh, send me the link, uh, the links in the document. I, I'm juggling it. weird here. Put the links in the oh, document right. and we'll uh, see about sharing those in the, in the show notes later as well. Um, awesome. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I have much of an awesome thing of the week. I mean, I, I bought a new laptop because we needed a new presentation laptop. So I'm like, buy a cheap laptop. Let's go. And Missy's like, buy something that we can use with like the production stuff. Uh, so this is a Lenovo. Uh, what the hell is it? It's, an, it's one of those idea something computers. Hold on. I don't think it says on there. <laughs> but, um, I, I I, I I've lamented at uh, Windows computers for a bit now because like I just feel like the 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 mouse has always been really junky, right? And this actually is not too bad. Like this was something like a two or three hundred dollar laptop. I think I may have had a two hundred dollar uh, discount from Walmart on a reseller or something like that. Um, but it and it's only an i three. It's with eight gigabytes of RAM, two fifty six of an SSD. But I got to say, like, I'm really impressed. Like, if if you're not, like, obviously, if you're not a gamer or something like that, this is, you know, going to be a pretty decent work kind of laptop. So I'm really impressed on those. Kind of, and Lenovo is something that I've had the uh, production machine that we do this show on uh, that I've had since, like, 2012. And it's still working, although I'm getting blue screen. I should probably replace it. Um, has been really good to us. I think we have another Lenovo that's really held up over the years, too. Um, really kind of ultra thin-ish. And it's nice that it's got um, both USBs. It's got it's got a C and two A's on it. Uh, it's got the SD card. I've been it's been driving me nuts because the MacBook Air doesn't have an SD card, and it's stuck it stuck me twice this week with productions when I'm trying to uh, uh, put a video to quick video together for an intro on my laptop because I need Final Cut, and then put it on another machine, and I'm like, there's no SD card. <laughs> so and all i have is like a usb drive that's like a usb 1.0 and it takes files like 20 minutes to copy over to it so um that so yeah it's been really really kind of uh, uh difficult for that but no i've been really happy with it it's um uh katie i mean you you've been here on these when i've had like a lot of trouble with the older laptops that we've had like trying to do the team mm-hmm. calls integrating that make sure there's ins and outs um oh i don't have it here you know what's awesome you know what still exists Creative what? Lab Sound Blaster. Like, we, we we're all of this era of, of the Sound Blaster 16 and everything, right? On our, on our quote-unquote gaming machines in the 90s, right? So I have a little USB sound card. It was just a cheap one off of Amazon, and it didn't work with this Windows 11 computer. It wouldn't kick in. So I looked this. I looked up just to see if there's like, anything newer, and the thing it gave me was a Creative Sound Blaster it's not going to log me in here because I'm, let me try to look it up the phone. And so they have these USB devices that are basically, um, you know, if you get a laptop, there's usually just a headphone jack, right? But a lot of times you need a separate microphone, especially for what we're doing. We're trying to bring the video, you know, the audio input output and bringing it into a soundboard and separate cords and things like that. So it's just this little dongle. There's a, uh, this is the three that was the, it's a USB a, and it has the, um, both the inputs. And honestly, I looked at the, uh, the play four and that thing, Katie, remember that, um, that startup that sent us one of those, um, um, the button for the zoom, zoom calls and stuff like that. We were just the talking boop. about recently the boop. boop. Is it my this thing? look? I I this was... look looks like a boop. <laughs> you need a boop. We all need boops. So it's a again. It's the look up Sound Blaster Play. Uh, the three is the USB A one, mm-hmm. and it had both of the inputs that I was looking for. The Play Four is uh, the one that here, and uh, we'll just kind of visually. I'll give you. a give you a look here on the on the screen here but yeah it's got like a mute button all it is it looks like it's only a microphone in from the looks of things 
what, what am I looking at? Oh no, that's just that's my that's this thing. Uh, <laughs> it just does not help you too much. Uh, but yeah, look, it's got the like it's got a mute button and everything, like your boop. Uh, so I think the idea is you're supposed to, you know, if you need to put like a good microphone, uh, in with a, you know, it gives you a little more bass boost, dynamic EQs, things like that for video calls to upgrade your video sound and everything like that. Um, so an interesting device, it's wild. I'm pretty sure creative labs has been bought by somebody else. And this is uh, simply a brand play of some sort, but, um, but yeah, no, I was, I was really kind of astonished that that thing just existed at all. And it's only about twenty dollars for the uh, the four. I think I paid it was like seventeen or eighteen for the the three. And uh, we used it today. We had a Teams call. Uh, somebody from Hexagon was 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 uh, doing a remote, and uh, it was it, between the new laptop and this. It was uh, one of the least uh, uh, issues I've had doing one of these um, in in the several years and a couple times a year that I've been doing it in this location in, in these this way. So I really really it was a nice tool uh, to add to something like that. So. Anyways, um, we should probably get to the big news, the main event here. Oh, real wait, quick. Wait, though, Potter, did you have any kind of awesome thing? I, I, I realized no, I didn't no, get you well, yet. No, no, no. That's okay. I, I have a palate cleanser, if you will. Oh, if you will. Okay. Um, literal palate cleanser. Now, oh, I don't God. know if you can see. Now, this is <laughs> yes. zero sugar. This is zero sugar. Uh-huh. Do you, it's a Coca Cola, and I don't know if you can read what's up here. I'm taking a picture and saying it to Missy. Okay, because <laughs> she's going to be into this. So, what does that say for the audio? It says Oreo Coca Cola, and is that your first taste? Uh, I had a couple of sips before. It is there is a light mm, chocolate flavor to it. A light so, chocolate flavor. Yes, I, I wouldn't describe it as an Oreo, but it is. It, it, this is supposed to be, or it, it actually on on the website and, um, in the store, it said besties for a limited time. Coca Cola and Oreo besties for a limited time, and it is only available in the zero sugar. Hmm. So That's it's, interesting. It's, which, that which, is only, which is nice. Which is nice because I normally don't trade full sugar pop. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It's a matter of two hundred and fifty calories for twenty ounces is an awful lot. Um, but they also have apparently the other way, where you can get Oreo cookies that are Coke flavored. Mm hmm. <laughs> Is this like the antithesis to the pumpkin craze right now? It must be. It or must be. Is it besties? Besties. <laughs> Tasty besties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I saw someone a... on TikTok try this, and I just happened to cross it in a giant eagle. I'm like, it's zero sugar. I gotta give it a try. Just to see what it tastes like. Hmm. <laughs> and it's not horrible. Hmm. Hmm. I've had worse. <laughs> had worse. That's the review. Partner says, I've had worse. Had worse. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're, yeah, now I'll put it this way. If we're talking root beer, mm -hmm. uh, and it makes it taste like a root beer float somehow, that would be significantly better. Okay. Because I like root beer floats better and I like Coke floats. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know it's dangerous, by the way, we've discovered the other night. Uh, bottomless root beer floats at Red Robin. Don't drink a bunch oh. of those before going to see a two-hour movie, especially Beetlejuice. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we, we had a – there was a bit of a cheat day and it kind of went sideways. Uh, anyways. Says the guy that just ordered himself an entire pizza. Uh, definitely that travel life right now. Uh, anyways, hey, I, I want to give a shout out to our friends uh, that do support this crazy show that has us on the road right now. Uh, our friends at the uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast. Probably won't do some Patreon uh, this week because we, you know, have everybody, everything going on. Um, but thank you to everybody that supports the show here. Patreon.com slash awesome cast, Cynthia Klosky, Michael Fedor, John DeGore, and Dave Ponder, spouse of Ruth Julia Fair at Ruth Julia Fair 
Patreon.com. Thank you guys, everybody, for supporting this craziness and this show and the awesomeness. So I have to do I have to do one thing. I want to shout out that one of our Patreons is very much environmentally sound because I saw her uh, at the recycle place on the, in the strip district. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing Cynthia and a thousand Cynthia Klosky in a thousand years, oh and we God. ran into each other uh, recycling in the strip district. So, yep, very much environmentally caught. You're we do need some kind of meetup or something. I'm, I miss a lot of these people we don't get to see anymore. So I That's what I yeah, said. figure something out soon. Anyways, uh, there is some sort of event. There was an announcement yesterday. And, and some of us may be getting new phones. I don't know. We'll take the vote here today. <laughs> We're going to see, see where if everybody settles on this. Uh, and, of course, I'm wa- talking about AirPods. Sure. Um, you, you know, honestly, one thing, and I saw someone mention this, and I and I agree with them. Apple really boosted. Not, I mean, everything got boosted, obviously. Oh yeah. But if you look at what's considered an entry level product of what they introduced, they really pushed the lower level a lot higher mm-hmm. than they did the upper level. So that you know that's kind of interesting because uh, you know I got the obligatory message from a friend of ours that says okay which phone should I buy and it said literally the one you can afford because yeah. it doesn't matter it's the one you can afford as long as it's like we're talking like hey is it a sixteen right because I know that I think they're still selling back to like the SCs and the fourteens in this new lineup mm-hmm. um, is the lowest of the non small one yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we, and you're right. So the AirPods um, looks like they brought a lot of the noise cancellation uh, effects and the, and the transparency down to the regular uh, AirPod. Um, and uh, and 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 then on the AirPods Pro, they really added a lot of. Um, it looked like it was a lot of the um, uh, accessibility features, the head nod to answer suit Siri, uh, which brings me back to Google Glass, honestly. Because that reminds me of Google Glass when you just do a head nod or you know to to acknowledge or you know make it go away or whatever like they, like there was that interactivity right so like I, you know I, I feel like they, like that's coming into it which making this a lot more holistic uh, the hearing aids you know things like that um, you know what, what else you know was there anything else out of the AirPods that really stuck out for you guys? Well, well Oop, I don't want to cut over nutters, but to me the big thing is there's two levels of AirPods 4 now. Mm-hmm. You have the kind of base level at, you know, $129 and the noise cancellation at $179. Yeah. That has a lot of the things that were built into the pros bringing down to your regular. So now there's kind of, I'm ignoring the max. I'm mm-hmm. completely ignoring the max. Five hundred dollars headphones. Uh, I'm ignoring those. Um, but you know, you have your entry level, you have your mid level, and then you have your pros. Which once they get approval from the FDA, which I'm assuming they're pretty certain they're going to get it because otherwise they wouldn't have announced it. Mm-hmm. At home hearing test, and basically using the pros twos. They didn't. It's, it's, it's this is all software. So if you already have a Pro Two, when the software is released, you'll be able to take the hearing test, which is a clinical level, and use it as a hearing aid. Mm-hmm. So if you have low level hearing loss, which once you hit a certain age, yes, you do. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you know, if you go to Costco or Sam's Club or other places where you can easily see hearing aids. Even the base, you know, their entry level is three, four, five hundred dollars at least. And let alone the real hearing aids, which are the six to ten thousand dollar level. You know, the ones you need the scripts for. This is a for me, this is a big deal. If you have someone who just has a little bit of hearing issue, and not only that with the pros. Not only do you have the noise cancellation, but it's things like, oh, you're at a concert, put in the pros, it'll make sure you hear the music so it isn't just you're putting, you know, cans or like like muffled. You can hear the music clear, but it'll bring it down to a safe level. Mm-hmm. So it's prevention of hearing loss, 
And if you have some mild hearing loss, it'll actually help you using it as a hearing aid. And, you know, the fact that that's 250 that's that to me. And, and like I said, if you already have it, they, these aren't, you know, AirPods Pro 3. They, they're bringing it to the twos. This is all software they're adding in. No, these are no, no, wait a minute. Are the, it, it, the, these were wait, wait. So were the Pro Twos? Am I am I mistaken? Are the Pro Twos not new, or is that just the one they've had? That's just as far as I know. That's just the one they've had. This is all software that they've had. Oh, cause it, like like I honestly don't know which ones I have. For instance, I bought mine back in March. Is that the Twos? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Uh, interesting. AirPod. Pro. Yeah, I know. It's doing the same thing. I'm like, which one are you? The ones yeah, what, in my ear? <laughs> yeah, what's literally in my ear right now? Let me look at the... I'm looking up the Wikipedia to see when they were released. <laughs> I mean, they just say AirPods not, Pro. Uh, let's see here. The AirPods Pro. Yeah, second generation was September 2023. Oh, geez. Okay. I didn't know I already had the new new. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, the, the other thing they, they, they made better with the non-pro AirPods is their USB-C case. Mm-hmm. And if you go with the kind of the, the upgraded version, it's wireless charging and find mine. Mm-hmm. Which is, for someone who completely loses his headphones, and that's why I buy $20 headphones, would be a very mm-hmm. nice thing. Which which is the the issue that I was I was troubled with too. Yes, exactly. Uh, Katie, I, I mean, are, are you are you looking at these uh, AirPod? I mean, you got the pros as well, right? So you'll be getting this hearing right. uh, mm-hmm. uh, situation. So I'm I'm interested in that because I know, you know, you you've seen the environments that we work in and stuff. You know, hell, like with the Baja and everything. Like we're exposed to a lot and, and have headphones on and, and everything. Like I I know I know stuff starting to affect me by now. Yeah, and I'm kind of curious on top of that, like being in an environment that is a little bit uh, chaotic and mm-hmm. like I can't hear because of something. I wonder if that'll be mm-hmm. eventually kind of become a thing too, where you kind of can cut through like whatever, mm-hmm. you know, with our, our mics will face that way. Maybe these will face the same way too. And it'll be like, oh, uh, hold on, it's, it's loud in here. Let me put this in. I'm at a wrestling show. Let me put my. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> have, I always, in. always have a problem if it's a like a bar environment. I guess is I know that's, that's, that accounts for a lot of places. I, I don't know, Kay, if you notice me toning out, tuning out when we're in like a group of people talking. Uh, MySpace night, for instance, I have no idea what's going on. And then also, I'm like a, a foot taller than most of the people. So, like the like, is it is it my hearing, or am I just literally not on the level of the conversation? <laughs> so it's all it's been a I, constant I, problem for me for years. I have no idea what you're talking about. But no, it, no, I can tell you, it's not height because I'm a good amount shorter than both of And mm-hmm. if I'm in a crowded restaurant or yeah, it, it, the, the, I can hear the ambient noise kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. swirl around But you're me talking in my belly button. <laughs> that is true, but you're talking <laughs> yep. over, my, over my bald head. <laughs> <laughs> wow um so okay so, so there's the airpods i mean you know it, again it's a nice nice upgrade they're, they're, i love the kind of health stuff that they're doing in there um you know i we, we're of the age that we may be we may be taking part of some of these new um health issue uh things very very shortly <laughs> and also the you know already looking at the okay what's my afib on my wash with is this indigestion or do i have a problem here uh so um also, one last thing the conversation awareness mm-hmm. where you're listening to something you come up to someone you start talking it automatically lowers the volume in your headset have you guys had much luck with those I've never had one that had it, but mm-hmm. it's, um, I mean, if I start singing along with a song, I think I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, it works extremely well. Yeah. well. yeah. Yeah. I, I turned it off after a week because it just, it wasn't like situationally, it didn't work for me. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, the, no. Well, we have uh, new Apple watches. They are thinner. Bigger, um, so 
there's that. Um, I honestly can't remember what else there was about it. Uh, uh, you know, well, they, they had a lot have, of stuff. They the do ultra- have a new, yeah, they, well, with the regular Apple Watch, the 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, same bands. Yep. There were rumors beforehand that they were going to change the same bands. Same Good. bands from the very beginning, which is kind of crazy if you think everyone talks about Apple, you know. They could change the bands things every year and you would have to buy new band. No, you can if you have an old phone with the band, you can keep it and just reuse it. But coming to the 10 and the 9 is sleep apnea testing. Good. So Good. if you wear it at night, um, you can have a report put out. I think it takes a month and it still hasn't been approved yet. I think that one still needs to be approved, but you'll be able to give a report to your doctor because what it does as you're sleeping, apparently when you stop breathing, after all sleep apnea is you stop breathing at night and you draw and you kind of jostle yourself so you can start breathing again because you have an obstructive airway. Mm -hmm. So that little jostles enough where it notices it on the, um, on the watch on that movement. So you could be able to go to your doctor and say, here's a report of my sleeping habits over the last month. I think I may have sleep apnea. Can we look into it? And that's that's kind of one of those things like, you know, there was a bit that was said for both this and the hearing loss about how many people were undiagnosed for things like this because mm-hmm. how difficult it is, right? Um, we, and we have some friends that, that have had some sleep apnea problems. I feel like I hear more and more people saying, hey, I'm going to go get tested. Um, so I, I think my wife did uh, got tested at one point, if I'm not mistaken, for it. Um, so, I mean, it, it, if it, it's something that pushes people along towards actually getting taken care of, that, that that's really awesome. Yeah, that to me is like a a big deal. To be honest, mm-hmm. is is and because the sleep apnea test is a pain in the butt. Yeah, Ruth had to have one like twenty years ago, and she gave up halfway through because no, she couldn't sleep because you had to be flat on your back and hooked up to all and, these devices. And some, so. So nothing got solved because people get frustrated. It's a different system. You have to go in this environment to, to get tested where it's just not even how you normally sleep. So you just don't even get to the point to getting getting diagnosed and, and treated. So, uh, and again, unfortunately, like I can't imagine, like this is possible sleep apnea, right? I can't imagine you taking this to the doctor and they're going to uh, prescribe to you a CPAP right out the gate. I think you're still yeah. going to have to go through the process. But at least it's like, hey, you should probably go through the process is at least a nice nudge that will get more people mm-hmm. to do it. So I don't know. Yeah. And the uh, one hour difference with the watch, it, the upper level is no longer stainless. It's mm-hmm. now titanium. Okay. Um, and the aluminum now is available in jet black. Ooh. So where before it was like a darker color. No, this is like, Piano key black. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking for a new watch, you know, there's not, like you said, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. Yeah. If you have a nine or you probably even an eight, it's no big deal. But if you have an older one and they kept the price the same, like Apple always mm-hmm. does, but that jet black is that that's, that is nice looking. Yeah, again, coming off an eight, it's treating me fine. I, I don't yeah. see, you know, it'd be nice to have the sleep apnea thing, but, uh, and blood, blood oxygen when it comes back uh, after they solve that case. Um, yeah. But One thing uh, to remember is if you have it already, they didn't mm-hmm. take it away. Sure, but I don't think it's, it's on the new one. No, not, it's not on the new ones. You're yeah. right. I I thought it was on the eight, but. I thought I I think it started with the nine, if I'm not mistaken. With the nine, could okay. be wrong. Hold on, let me see if there's blood oxygen on here. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't see anything. Oh, wait, there's a blood oxygen on here. Mm-hmm. I got an app for mm-hmm. it. Here are the next tips. Yep. Oh, shoot. Am I still allowed to do it? Yeah. Sure is- yeah. It, the, the thing is, they can't sell new watches with it. Oh, uh, okay. But, they, but if you had it ex- existing, it still works. And I and that's eventually going to work. Get work then I I've, then I've just never noticed. Oh, well, I guess I haven't had a problem, at least, I guess. Well, that's so I didn't do the one thing. And I, I just had a, a checkup a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't do the one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while. But I don't know. My doc, I don't know. 
it's it's weird to ask my doctor new things. Um, <laughs> I told him about Missy's uh, lumen thing where she breathes and tells her mm-hmm. like how she's burning carbs or whatever, and he just thought that was the weirdest thing he ever heard. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to ask you to look at my Apple Health. You know, <laughs> it was kind of my vibe at the time. Um, but no, like I've always wanted to be like, here, like, do you see a pattern that's a problem here that I should be aware of? <laughs> you know, you are the expert. You, do you do you read Apple Health? You know, it's only just my entire life for the last several years, um, a quantified uh, kind of situation. So, but I'm sure that'll get, I mean, there's gotta be doctors out there that already do that or even ask for it in general. You know, mm-hmm. I, I would hope would be proactive and ask for it. Um, Cause I, I can't imagine it not being helpful, you know, to see the trends, you know, I mean, hell your watch tells you, you know, Hey, your heart rate's high, you know, for, for, mm-hmm. it, but you're sedentary, you like something's up, you know, and I've gotten those, I definitely got in those in high stress situations, right? So, anyways, well, okay, the main event, the iPhone. I'm due. I got a 13. I'm going for it. And Katie's been mocking me with her 15 for the entire year now. Uh, so, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, I, yeah. Hey, everything sounds fine, but I, you know what? It's the next one. I am mad though. But the purple one is only for regular iPhone. And I'm mad that because even my Pro Max is a wonderful, even though you don't see it because I have it in this case all the time, but is, and I turned the light on somehow, um, is a wonderful shade of bluish. Well, I think it's bluish. Mm-hmm. I can't, yeah. I think it's bluish. It's called, because no, because I have a 13 Pro Max. Mm-hmm. It's in, in the case, it is. Sierra blue. Yeah, I got my Sierra blue, which actually goes really nice with the purplish of the case, right? So um not, I'll probably get black or something, but uh but I have a way, yeah. Let's say you're not going with hold on, <laughs> I, I want to get the official color here because Apple's colors. Um mm-hmm. desert titanium. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Which mm-hmm. yes, it's basically it's it's black, white. Natural titanium, which is beige type, and what they're calling desert titanium, which is a almost like a bronzish brown. So, uh, it, it, if you will, it's kind of gold without. It, it's more. It's I'm, like a I'm putting it in a bright purple case, anyways, guys. This doesn't matter. It really yeah. doesn't matter. The one right. that'll come sooner. To be quite honest, you know, we actually have be allowed to get the gold one for just for the hell of it, just be the gaudiest thing. And, and, and well, even you know, the iPhone, you know, we talked about you know, kind of leveling off, you know, the uh, you know, that idea of which one to get, the one you can afford, because like all these things have to have the you know, new chips. You know, obviously a little bit more for the pros and and all the video uh, computing that it's doing. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting a terabyte again, guys, because I sat down, Amanda and Steve were in, and we're going over stuff. I was like, yeah, look, I still have like 700 gigs or 300 gigs left. And she's looked at it, and she's like, you realize like half of that is podcast. I'm like, what are you talking about? And literally a third of my phone Mm -hmm. were downloaded podcasts. Like, how did that even happen? (laughs) <laughs> what? Now, is, is this the podcast app the apple podcast app yes that's why i stopped using it that's why mm-hmm. i use overcast overcast does a really what? good job of getting because i actually i had to manually because del- i had always had like a 256 gig yeah and like half my like two three-fourths of my phone at one time because i listened to, i had audio podcast and video and it was stuff that I would watch live, like Awesome Cast or Mayhem Show. Sure. But it would download the video. And even though, you know, it it, it kept it there. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, wait a minute. This, I, I, I'm done with this. This was a month ago. This was two months ago. Delete, 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 delete. And after a while, it was like, you know what? I'm So I just switched over to Overcast. And it takes care of that so much better. I have 500. Now this is this is the thing though cuz now I'm I'm on I'm I'm sort of on the line now. I have 574 gigabytes free of my 1 terabyte phone. Um I have 626 
gigs. And I, I can tell you my podcast is not, they're, they're not. There. Oh yeah. Like, so it's so, mostly, it's messages. Cause I never delete them. I love them. That's not, that's not it for me either. <laughs> so uh, I, yeah, that's, that's kind of curious there. Okay. iPhone storage. Here we are. Um, yeah. And this is 449 for some reason. Um, so, but still with the video and everything, I don't want to run up against, any kind of ceiling, True. you know, because I feel like I feel like I use video quite a lot more on this. I feel like I'm going to use it even more on the next one. So uh, this this tells me that uh, you know applications is the biggest chunk of it right now. So, but you know, and I have a lot of downloads because I, I download a bunch of my regular movies and stuff for for you know when I get on a plane just so I have something just in case. Things like that. So I don't know. That just um, and I downloaded a bunch of games. Like I have like this game. These games I'm looking at are three gigs a, a, a pop, five gigs, six gigs, six mm-hmm. gigs. So that really that really does kind of add up. So and now like I can play Assassin's Creed on these things. Um, I may want to kind of you know those things that tend to be like eighty, a hundred gigs when I download them on the Xbox. So. Um, I, I, so, so the big I, question then, not mm-hmm. only storage size, mm-hmm. phone size. Because unlike last year, there's no difference between the Pro and the Pro Max other than screen size. Mm-hmm. So is 6.3 big enough, or do you need to go to 6.9? I'm going big. Potter, Potter, the name of the game here is Go Big or Go Home, okay? Look at these mitts. I'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Katie, if you were if you were on an upgrade side, obviously you just upgraded last year. I, I can't imagine unless you're on the mom upgrade cycle and it's new yeah, necessarily. <laughs> um, but are, would you have any qualms about getting a much bigger phone than you already have? Because you are also rocking the Max. Yeah. What? How much bigger is it from last year's? Did it? Uh, it's uh, six point nine versus six point seven, but some of that's made up with smaller bezels. So mm-hmm. it's not a full mm-hmm. two tenths of an inch bigger on the um, diagonal, but maybe one point one five oh, inch. So just it's it's it, it's it's a little bit bigger each way and a little heavier. Mm. We're all holding up our phones. Yeah, I know. We're like, oh, look at mine! It has a phone. Yes, yes. <laughs> it has cameras. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, mm-hmm. but that's that's where I'm at with. Stuff. I don't honestly. I don't know if I'd go bigger because um i already feel horrible giving my mom such a big upgrade because she's stuck with my <laughs> you need like in. um you just need thumb extenders for her to be able to use the phone yeah yeah, yeah it's the thumb extenders and um, boy pockets boy pockets yeah i mean you, you know once you once you put a big otter box case on that you know it feels like it's gonna like i know what you're somebody. talking about that's like, that's like my <laughs> I was like, oh, we're talking about this. I got to take the Hello Kitty case off so I can protect it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get an otter box for this, but I'm like, I'm going to have this for another week, hopefully. So I, I am excited because I don't believe I've done, and, and Kitty, you're going to have to help me with this. I'm going we'll to see what our call time is on, on Friday because uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time, I believe is our, if I have my time zones right, is uh, launch launch time Ooh, for the phone. Perfect. Um, perfect. Now I'm going through ATT.com. Mm-hmm. I won't be going through Apple.com, but they are the same time. So I'm really curious about that. Yeah, just dropped the last payment on my phone. <laughs> so probably just gonna get the same thing. And, uh, and, and again, I can't even tell you what the features are. I'm just like, it's gonna do the Apple intelligence, sure. It's gonna be like a terabyte, sure. You're gonna be able to do video stuff, probably better than the, the than you did before, sure. Mm-hmm. We can hear we can hear the otter box coming together. <laughs> No, you would you would think that, but no, it's it's my new screen protector. Oh, those ones are good. I thought they're so yes. cheap and good. I didn't replace yeah. mine. So, I still have a crack across, oh, 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 across the middle of it. Oh, do you, I, I don't know if you can see mine. It looks like it's been dropped multiple times. And yeah, I I can't my on my side the mute doesn't stick. Oh no, that's what we're learning about the Vimeo deal. Well, either way, so I mean, I mean, I, I, and I'm going to be playing catch up. So, so to me, I'm sure the features that I'm going to be interested in are things that you've been enjoying for the last year, like the the island and stuff like that. You know, the, the um, oh, oh, Amanda gave me a greatest app. I just tried it on this this uh, MacBook. It's a notch something uh, that that 
pulls out your your oh nook no, nook notch nook i think it's called it's like 25 bucks if you pay for it outright for a lifetime subscription but it expands like this whole thing out from the notch in your macbook um it's tremendous when i have when when i've had a little bit of time with it and i can mm -hmm. show my computer next week i'm hoping to talk about mm -hmm. that that is it. it it is notch nook all together 25 dollars yeah or you can pay three dollars a month for some reason so yeah um I am interested. So uh, the I'm interested in. I, it looks like the side action button, which I, I haven't had one of those. That's a newer feature, right? Um, it now has like a slide to it, so you can. Well, that's uh, it's a it's a new button actually. Okay. So the action button's still there. So if you had the 15 Pro, you had a little action button that you could do various things with. Pretty much, I think a lot of people use it as a mute button, or you can hook it up to a shortcut. But they introduced on both the not on all four phones a camera button a mm -hmm. capture button i think they're calling it that you can actually use for and it's camera only mm -hmm. and it's any camera that can be used from the lock screen mm -hmm. so if you switch out the default camera app with another camera app on the lock screen you just press and it does press down i know i think there was some confusion it actually does physically press down okay you press down once it opens up your camera app you press down again, it takes a picture. No. You press and hold, you press and hold, it takes a video. Okay. If you do like a like if you do like a halfway tap, think DSLR, you can do focus. And then you finish finish through. And if you tap it, you can make a you can make a, you can use it just like a menu and little things will pop up and you can go, oh, I want to change the brightness. Click, move over to the brightness, and then just scroll left and right on the little button there to change your brightness or to change your focus or other things. I'm interested. So Katie, it's, you're, it's almost Katie, like you're going back to a camera. Katie, you're the shutter bug on this, this SAE Media team. <laughs> How are you feeling no, about I love that it. idea? <laughs> I love it. I just, we're just gonna be bolting up our phones. I should just like change out the case every time I pick up my phone. <laughs> What's this now? What's this now? Oh wait, how many phone cases do you have within the? Uh, mm. Oh yeah, there's mm. there's my other auto box. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my normal SAE uh, one, and that's my <laughs> auto box for Baja. Um, but no, I love the idea of just like that movement again i don't know it's just it's it's satisfying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this so goes back to the day remember when camera plus got in trouble because they used the one button on like mm -hmm. the, the the four or something as yeah. the shutter and they got in trouble so um Ooh. so so the feature that is okay here's the here's the one that kind of blew my mind that you could supposedly do uh with the new iphones uh so of course i you know you know i i use cinema i, I love i was showing the interviews i do where it does that fake bokeh on it um with cinema mode and uh you know i use that for interviews to kind of spice them up a little bit in a really easy way um on, on some really kind of fast and loose kind of edits that we do here and and um i showed that to somebody who is actually taking dslrs and doing the same effect in slow mos and things <laughs> and they're just like did you did you did you did you mat that person? And, and I was like, no, I did not do a shape mask mat or whatever we were talking about on it. I was like, that's an iPhone. He's like, good, because you're a psycho if you did it that way. <laughs> so, um, But the thing that they were showing that really kind of like, how does this work? I want to try this. Um, going into what I presume is kind of some kind of cinema mode kind of thing like that. It sounds like it's that cinema mode where you can do that with the bokeh in the back and it's going to automatically focus on faces. And of course, you, you know, Katie, you've seen where when there's a whole team of people behind them, that gets a little confusing, right? Yeah. There's a group of yeah. people, right? It's like, okay, we're going to focus there, focus there. I'm going to look this way, you know, but sometimes it's great. It's like, yeah, this guy over here and actually focus on the guy behind them. And then back on him when he turned around. And I was like, I'm leaving that in. Um, but so the version of this that, that I'm excited about is this audio mix uh, for Pro Video. Um, so somehow, and I want to get a science breakdown of this eventually, but I'm going to try this thing. You do, like, they, they're doing a, a, a scene in a coffee a coffee shop and there's a bunch of people talking and you can go in much like you could fo focus on faces and subjects for that bokeh kind of in and out that fade in and out. You can pick a person 
So the audio from that person's conversation comes in and pushes everything else out. How are we even doing this? That doesn't, how, what, what, how, how are you separating that with just an array of speakers on a phone, right? Like that's, that's really incredible. I, I can't wait for like the high level uh, producers to start talking about how this thing works. And it looks like you also have different options. Um, mm -hmm. So it now it does have four speak uh, four microphones on the back of the phone. Sure. So it's doing. You have no option between standard in frame, so it only captures the voices of the people on camera. Studio, which supposedly makes it sound like a professional studio, mm -hmm. and then cinematic. So you get. You know, it says capture all the voices around you and consolidates them on the front of the screen. So when people say Apple is not involved with like artificial intelligence, this mm -hmm. is machine learning that you need a lot of processing power to do. It's just like super focused. And this is what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. This is what they're good at. This is what those, all those chip upgrades. And this is what you're going to get out of the pro is the ability to do these kinds of things, which means like who knows what that's going to mean. When we they finally roll out Artiful, our, our, our Apple intelligence, I mean, you know, I think they were they did allude to some things are going to work better on this than on the regular phones, right? Probably a little bit quicker because the pro just has mm -hmm. more processing. Oomph. So it may be a little smoother, a little quicker. Mm -hmm. But it will have the same features. It'll just seem nicer. Sure. Um, Katie, you know, I, I, you have a Pro Max, which means you are going to be in that, you know, we, we, we've rolled out a lot of the ideas of what's going to happen here in the next couple of months with uh, Apple Intelligence. So you're going to be a part of that as well, uh, even even on last year's phone. Uh, what's the, you know, and you're poking out these things like we are, like what are you kind of most excited about seeing coming to your phone on this, the new OS? No, oh, geez, I don't know. I was excited about camera stuff because I'm always excited about camera stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's I didn't explore much more. But I'm ex I, I don't know. Like I always like the the uh, the funny things that like people figure out afterwards that aren't like they don't really make a big deal about. But like later on, they're like, oh yeah, we can do this now. And I'm like, I love that feature. It takes me one less step to do something else. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too. I, I'm not looking mm -hmm. at like like the big features, the big sweeping G Wiz features like this. It's going to be the day to day, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, wow. I, I feel like every cycle I do this, I feel less and less like I really need the new phone even three years deep now. Right. Um, you know, it was, it was a really kind of like the eight was just barely on the, ah, it's just kind of loading a little bit more. Uh, the biggest issue that we're having, both of us are having, um, is our 13s are, are freezing every once in a while when you load an app and the app's just going to hang or something. Wait, that could be just complete an OS thing. It's probably not even the phone itself. Right. Um, it could just be reset the phone. You'll be okay. Um, you just needs a fresh, fresh start. I mean, I do have, 500 gigabytes of games on this thing um for instance right um but i'm afraid to download 500 gigabytes of content back on the phone <laughs> it would be a pain in the button just just leave it there forever um but anyways no i think it's some really good options um i'm going to be trying i'm going to do that uh i am going to try the get the phone at launch on the road situation. Yeah. So I'm hoping to have some great Wi-Fi at our hotel we're staying on at in Flint. Uh, so I know we're really good here at the Double Tree, but um, but we'll see how that goes. It'll be a phenomenon where everybody in the hotel is trying to get an iPhone that morning. Now, one other thing I want to mention about the camera, and this is mm -hmm. the this is a jump up on the Pro, mm -hmm. the ultra wide going out to 48 megapixels. Yes, I'm looking at that. That, to me, is because the ultra-wides, I, I like the framing, but it's 12 megapixels. It's not... So they can bump it up for maybe low light. It still won't be as good as the main. Mm -hmm. uh, they're now calling Fusion, but it won't be as good as the main. But having that, that means you're going to be able to do macro shots and up-close shots that are ultra-crisp and clear mm -hmm. not as good as a physical lens still because physics but uh and that and the um the fact that you're able to do 4k 120 frames per second and then after the fact 
adjust the playback speed in the Photos app. Mm -hmm. So you can do it like at 30 frames per second, 60 if you want half speed, or they're giving an option for 20 frames per second playback. So you get that cinematic look. As they, if you look at the, um, the presentation, the uh, guys walking away from the explosion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> guess what we're doing, Katie? We're doing more <laughs> slow mo shots, walk up slow mo shots of Baja. <laughs> if I can get Formula. four ba four Baja kids doing the the astronaut hero walk. With like just a dust cloud from like passing tea or something would be a that's what that would be my goal. Man, I wish I had this thing a week earlier, uh, so I could do this to go out on the on the site with it. This I have I have I don't have anything nearly as exciting other than pro wrestling, and and I'm usually too involved. Uh, so. <laughs> but, but I can see <laughs> for, for the pro wrestling, I can see that after the fact. I can see that too. I I, oh, I will you know, shot. you know people know, coming out of the smoky yep. area type thing. Yep, we do have a lot of people that do uh, the cinematics, and I would love to just like take the phone with a rig, you know, around that. I mean, unit wrestling with unicorns does that already, but like to you know go in there and do some really cool like artistic slow mo kind of stuff around the wrestling and concentrate on that with these kinds of tools and and and, and I feel like for me it would be an introductory to moving up to a DSLR that does that kind of stuff like like these Sony's and stuff that I know mm -hmm. our friend Scotty over at Enjoy Wrestling uh, uh, likes to play with. So and did some amazing stuff that uh, uh, people haven't seen yet from uh, a certain event this past year and hopefully a lot more in this next year if uh, if we get our way. Uh, so I'm very excited about the rigging that stuff and, and people that can do that. So anyways, uh, uh, Katie, what is your biggest takeaway from the Apple announcements this week? This week? That uh, well, one I can keep my phone and feel fine. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you get a lot out of it, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's nice. I do like that. Um, I don't know. Like, I didn't. I'm not like overly excited about stuff. I mean, it's neat, but it's not anything that I'm like, ooh, no. you know, if you go out and buy it. Um, I do really need. I forget how old my Apple Watch is, but it's still chugging along. I just there's nothing <laughs> that's been like, wait, you really? I did it. I'm excited about feature wise. So I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine so so the uh you're you're excited about not being excited and just perfectly happy with what you have that's the real gift yeah that that is true like i just cannot i could take a break and that's fine and that means they they were really good products back then you know we're really kind of in an incremental situation here what about you dave what's your biggest takeaway what's your biggest key here it's the fact that unless you really need or really really want the optical zoom Mm -hmm. the non-pros are right now good enough even if you take a lot of photos yeah um for most people the non-pro is a great cam is a great i don't want to say camera just camera but it's a great phone there's not yeah. a step down like there was in previous years no no there really isn't i mean no, i'm I getting the pro because i want the zoom and you know, try like the the Dolby slow motion shots, which I'll only you probably only use once. But you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping educator. I'm hoping to use that stuff a lot. Uh, no, yeah, the biggest takeaways for me, I, I think, I think that uh, the the health stuff, the the hearing and the um. Uh, what was the other, the sleep apnea stuff, really kind of uh, told to a lot of. I love that there's like, hey, here's a problem we're trying to solve. You know, it's not just like, hey, and we're trying to just sell you a shiny phone that can do spiffy things and you can talk to it and stuff like and we're not even we barely even talked about Apple intelligence. And I kind of don't want to until it's actually a thing and we can get our hands on it. Um, but it does feel like it's, uh, you know, th th like there, there's a lot of good in it to say, you know, hey, buy this fancy thing, but also it's actually going to help you. And because a lot of you have it, it can actually help a lot of people with this thing that does not get addressed accordingly. You know what I mean? So I really appreciate that side of things. Um, and, 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 and it's not even on any products that I'm going to be picking up, <laughs> you know, I'm buying, I'm buying the G whiz thing. Cause it's time to buy a new G whiz thing for me. And I want to make sure I'm on the cutting edge for my video. So like, it wasn't even literally that audio thing was the only thing that was just like, what is this? Yes. I want to do that. Okay. And, and now I need to look at the features for the last two phones to realize, um, what I've been missing. It, it, you know, I'm going to open that thing. I was like, we can do what now? And Katie's like, yeah, I've been doing mm -hmm. that. For 
<laughs> of course. So, Katie, teach me how to use my new phone in the features, okay? When we're out yeah, in the yeah, field. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah. It's like, and I can do that. I'm sorry, sir. Did I freeze yeah. or did Sorg freeze or? Ah, oh, throat Sorg's broke. So oh, no. <laughs> we win the okay. show. We win the show. No, Everyone my, my, can hear me. <laughs> My question to you, T.A.D., is how quickly, because you have a, you have access with the 15 Pro, You how quickly are you going to try a Genmoji? Oh, yeah. We have to do that. <laughs> As they say, you want to create a disco ball pigeon? You got it. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I, I, want, that. I, want a cowboy, I want a cowboy chicken. You got a cowboy chicken. <laughs> Especially the one will be like built in because I think there was there like an emoji kitchen. There's going to be an image, uh, image playground is what they call it. Okay, yeah, but I was like, yeah, yeah it was a emo- Yeah, so that um, oh, way to show up. <laughs> so you know what happened? You know that thing where like every t- like if you're using a code and every twenty four hours, you need to sign back into the hotel Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. That's what just happened because this is when I got to my room last night and signed up for the internet. <laughs> so, okay. I presume the show. I presume the show kept going without me. Oh yeah. Oh good. Yeah, we did you. streaming and everything else, and we're we're talking about uh, disco ball pigeons. Oh, perfect, perfect way to end the show. Disco Guys, pigeons. We should wrap this up here. It's been an hour, and I still have to put this thing up properly. So, and do another show. So. Thank you, everybody. Dave Podner. Definitely check out the iPhoneography podcast. I'm sure there's very some tired post big game thoughts on that and very much camera. And Katie uh, is doing Katie things at Kate, uh, katiedudes.com. <laughs> I just put, I, the, I pulled off the old broken screen protector and it, I put my arm on it. So it's been sticking on my arm past the show or however long since I peeled it off. <laughs> Katie will be joining me up here in Michigan. I'm sure there'll be some shenanigans that we'll get into, and we're going to get dirty at Baja. Uh, at Sorgatron on all the social medias to see what el- whatever I've been up to recently. It's usually wrestling. It's, it's usually wrestling. I rode a battle cat! Fade <laughs> <Eight> black. <laughs> what is that about? Maybe we'll tell you next week. <laughs> You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs>